Numbers chapter 28 verses 16 through 31. And in the fourteenth day of the first month is the Passover of the Lord. And in the fifteenth day of this month is the feast, seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. In the first day shall be an holy convocation, ye shall do no manner of servile work therein, but ye shall offer a sacrifice made by fire for a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks, and one ram, and seven lambs of the first year, they shall be unto you without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals shall ye offer for a bullock, and two-tenth deals for a ram. A several-tenth deal shalt thou offer for every lamb, throughout the seven lambs. And one goat for a sin offering, to make an atonement for you. Ye shall offer these beside the burnt offering in the morning, which is for a continual burnt offering. After this manner ye shall offer daily, throughout the seven days, the meat of the sacrifice made by fire, of a sweet savour unto the Lord, it shall be offered beside the continual burnt offering, and his drink offering. And on the seventh day ye shall have an holy convocation, ye shall do no servile work. Also in the day of the firstfruits, when ye bring a new meat offering unto the Lord, after your weeks be out, ye shall have an holy convocation, ye shall do no servile work. But ye shall offer the burnt offering for a sweet savour unto the Lord, two young bullocks, one ram, seven lambs of the first year. And their meat offering of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals unto one bullock, two-tenth deals unto one ram. A several-tenth deal unto one lamb, throughout the seven lambs. And one kid of the goats, to make an atonement for you. Ye shall offer them beside the continual burnt offering, and his meat offering, they shall be unto you without blemish, and their drink offerings. Numbers chapter 29. And in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, ye shall have an holy convocation, ye shall do no servile work, it is a day of blowing the trumpets unto you. And ye shall offer a burnt offering for a sweet savour unto the Lord, one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals for a bullock, and two-tenth deals for a ram. And one-tenth deal for one lamb, throughout the seven lambs. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering, to make an atonement for you. Beside the burnt offering of the month, and his meat offering, and the daily burnt offering, and his meat offering, and their drink offerings, according unto their manner, for a sweet savour, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall have on the tenth day of this seventh month an holy convocation, and ye shall afflict your souls, ye shall not do any work therein. But ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord for a sweet savour, one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year, they shall be unto you without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals to a bullock, and two-tenth deals to one ram. A several-tenth deal for one lamb, throughout the seven lambs. One kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the sin offering of atonement, and the continual burnt offering, and the meat offering of it, and their drink offerings. And on the fifteenth day of the seventh month ye shall have an holy convocation, ye shall do no servile work, and ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days. And ye shall offer a burnt offering, a sacrifice made by fire, of a sweet savour unto the Lord, thirteen young bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year they shall be without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals unto every bullock of the thirteen bullocks, two-tenth deals to each ram of the two rams. And a several-tenth deal to each lamb of the fourteen lambs, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the second day ye shall offer twelve young bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year without spot and their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, shall be according to their number, after the manner. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, and the meat offering thereof, and their drink offerings. And on the third day eleven bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, shall be according to their number, after the manner and one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, and his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the fourth day ten bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. Their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, shall be according to their number, after the manner. 
and one kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the fifth day nine bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without spot. And their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, shall be according to their number, after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, and his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the sixth day eight bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, shall be according to their number, after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the seventh day seven bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish, and their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, shall be according to their number, after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. On the eighth day ye shall have a solemn assembly, ye shall do no servile work therein. But ye shall offer a burnt offering, a sacrifice made by fire, of a sweet savour unto the Lord, one bullock, one ram, seven lambs of the first year without blemish. Their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullock, for the ram, and for the lambs, shall be according to their number, after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, and his meat offering, and his drink offering. These things ye shall do unto the Lord in your set feasts, beside your vows, and your freewill offerings, for your burnt offerings, and for your meat offerings, and for your drink offerings, and for your peace offerings. And Moses told the children of Israel according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. Luke chapter 3 verses 23 through 38. And Jesus himself began to be about thirty years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli, which was the son of Mathat, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Janna, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Mattathias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of Nahum, which was the son of Yesli, which was the son of Naga, which was the son of Moth, which was the son of Mattathias, which was the son of Seme, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joanna, which was the son of Ressa, which was the son of Zorobabel, which was the son of Salathiel, which was the son of Neri, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Adi, which was the son of Kassam, which was the son of Elmodam, which was the son of Ur, which was the son of Josi, which was the son of Eliezer, which was the son of Jo-Rim, which was the son of Mathat, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Simeon, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Jonan, which was the son of Eliakim, which was the son of Melia, which was the son of Menan, which was the son of Mattatha, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David, which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed, which was the son of Boaz, which was the son of Salmon, which was the son of Nisan, which was the son of Aminadab, which was the son of Aram, which was the son of Esram, which was the son of Phares, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Tara, which was the son of Nacor, which was the son of Saru, which was the son of Ragau, which was the son of Phalak, which was the son of Heber, which was the son of Sala, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Arphaxad, which was the son of Sem, which was the son of Noe, which was the son of Lamech, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Malaleel, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Psalms chapter 62. Truly my soul waiteth upon God, from him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, he is my defense, I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain all of you, as a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency, they delight in lies, they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Selah. My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation, He is my defense, I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge, is in God. Trust in Him at all times, ye people, pour out your heart before Him, 
God is a refuge for us. Selah. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie, to be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery, if riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God hath spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Proverbs chapter 11 verses 18 through 19. The wicked worketh a deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. As righteousness tendeth to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death.